Catus Maximus. Here again, <laughs> this time with a review of speed handles or spinner wrenches and thumb wheels or thumb spinners. And uh, I thought these could use their own review. These kind of tools, the thumb spinners are more common, but the speed wrenches are becoming less and less common for the one real obvious reason is that they are just so darn long. They are really long. The average uh, speed wrench length is about a foot and a half long. And nowadays with the air tools and the brushless cordless tools, um, or the fact that you're not removing very many fasteners or you can't fit this wrench is one of the reasons why you don't see them quite as often. But they used to be really the answer for quick disassembly uh, and especially assembly work. And they are still pretty handy for assembly work such as oil pans, valve cover gaskets, transmission filters, any place where you have to run in you know, of several fasteners relatively quickly. And yes, they are just based off the hang crank method. We give you a closer look at one of them here. This is a proto. And they just have a bent handle and then a knob that will spin. This isn't on bearings or anything inside these. It's just a, a rounded end piece of steel on with a cap and then it's swaged or crimped down a little bit so it doesn't want to fall off. And I don't know why they've always been so long, but they have. Otherwise, that's basically what it is. You have a the offset here is pretty universal on all of them. It's about three or four inches, maybe three on a quarter inch and five inches on a half inch drive. Um, but most half inch drive bolts will be very difficult to actually try to break just because you have a, don't have a lot of leverage. And if you're really yanking on this, it's a kind of a difficult situation. The other difference is obviously the handles, where like on these SKs, they use round handles, straight round handles, which seems to be pretty common. Um, like this Harbor Freight and this Craftsman down here, but I do like the wider handle on the Proto. And of course, as a demonstration, you just grab those, you'd have a socket on it, and you would just hand crank them off. You can go pretty darn fast, and so that's where they used to be real handy, um, and uh, still are handy for uh, assembly work. And when you have them handy, since they have such a long stem on them, you can use them with, uh, you don't usually need extensions when you're using these. Uh, and that can be kind of nice too. And because they're so long, they can be more ergonomic because you're not uh, so close to the fastener that you're working on. You can be in a more ergonomic position. I do recommend swivel sockets, not so much the universal joint, the standard, but these impact style. Because when you use those with these uh, spinner handles, then you don't have to keep it straight on the fastener. And then they can really become much more useful as you... Uh, or spinning the handle around and it, you can, you know, as you're cranking it, it wants to wobble so you're not putting tension. Uh, the socket's not really wanting to come off the fastener and then you can be even at a more ergonomic position because you don't have to be straight on. And so that really can make these fast, uh, especially in fall, small fasteners um, as compared to an impact wrench. Uh, an impact or air ratchet will be faster but surprisingly enough, not so much so because you can hand crank this pretty quickly and it's easier to get like a socket like this onto the fastener quickly and then start unscrewing it. Uh, the, some of the problems with impact wrenches, as you know, uh, most times you'll put it on the fastener and you don't have to make sure the socket's actually on it. As soon as you hit the trigger a little bit, the socket will fall onto the fastener and you'll be able to pull it out. But sometimes that doesn't work and the socket starts spinning around on top of the fastener. Uh, and that makes it difficult and can strip out uh, bolts and sockets. And you really don't have that kind of issue with this hand style tool. And on a final note, these things are actually really nice. If you get the adapters to drive uh, socket or uh, Phillips head, slot head uh, driver, screwdriver bits, uh, then these are great for screwdriver or screws because you can get a lot of pressure on the top of the screw and then hand crank it out uh, very quickly. So that is one nice aspect about them. We'll go and talk about some of these finger spinners here. Let me zoom in for these guys. And so some of these are actually uh, purpose intended or built as finger spinners. Some of these are actually anvils out of ratchets. And to tell you the truth, the anvils out of ratchets uh, I like far better than any of the uh, uh, purpose intended th thumb spinners. I do like this little quarter wrench one. It's kind of nice because it has a wide, thick wheel on it and uh, a really nice solid dentent. 
most of these thumb spinners will allow you to drive them with a ratchet so you can use it to drive extensions or you know break the fastener and then just spin it out uh, which is always handy uh, you want ones that have really deep cutouts like this so you can actually get a grip on it if you have oily or greasy fingers um, and the wide surface so you don't pinch your fingers so much and that's an issue I have say with this snap on or these which are called ultra steel brand the snap on one obviously is nice uh, I do like the aspect that it's um, offset a little higher so you can wrap your fingers around it the issue is it has a really thin edge here and it's really hard to get any kind of a real grip and you have to press hard and it kind of pinches your fingers uh, which is unfortunate uh, especially if you have a bolt that's just a little bit tight in the situation you need some extra grip it's actually kind of difficult and I do like them when they're um, a little bit more compact in most situations we'll take a look at these ultra steel ones these are actually available right here at O'Reilly's um, they are increasers as well so the half inch they had a half inch and a three eighths but no quarter inch one um, and the half inch is a three eighths to half inch increaser the three eighths drive one is a quarter inch to three eighths increaser and because they're integrated they're really really short as an increaser I'll show you say so yeah, a standard quarter inch increaser uh, this thing's a lot smaller but you basically never use increasers um, I just that they don't really make sense I own a lot of them because I find them but I've never really used an increaser uh, why would I use a smaller ratchet or tool with a bigger socket uh, unless you're in a pinch if you have really limited tools then yeah they can help out what let's compare the half inch this is the half inch to a proto and the proto increasers are really compact so there's a snap on you can see the proto is quite a bit shorter let's flip it this way and then if we compare there we go this it's a really compact increaser so that is one thing that's nice and they're actually really well machined if you look closely uh, you can see they're just about perfect as far as visually on a tool with the actual machine anvil they have a really strong well centered stamp ball dentent they this is an aluminum driver ring and you can see they actually put splines where they up they uh, put corrugations on the socket part so this thing really is on there well and won't slip so I do have to say that they're pretty well made, but they have the same issue where uh, you have a very small area to grip, although they are uh, have pretty good traction because they have deep cutouts as well as little knurls. And since these can be got purchased at O'Reilly's, um, I would grab these. And then here's the three, uh, excuse me, and the three eighths is the same way. So now on to my more favorite ratchet wheels which is these anvils and yeah these are all out of uh, ratchets this is out of uh, a skill back in the 80s and 90s some of your viewers may remember them they were these long um, silver rechargeable NICAD electric ratchets called a skill power wrench I believe and this is what this is out of and so I like that because it has a ratchet uh, cutouts and so they're much more aggressive and this one has a long stem kind of like the snap on but with the wide surface it's much easier to use and then these are just ratchet anvils and they're really kind of nice to have you have the option of having locking ones where's the socket here and then with the ratchet anvils they're just so much grip because of the the teeth and i recommend a coarse ratchet because you get even more grip even though fine tooth works well and these are really nice because when you get to a section of the faster where it's a little tight you can just get plenty of grip um, and i really recommend them if you don't if you want even more compact you can just get out of uh, sealed head ratchets you can get these kind of anvils what's nice about these is they have a little dentin in the back so when you put it on a socket you can use it to center your finger and twist it in, in a real tight space it's real compact but then you get just a ton of grip and so that was kind of the point of this video was showing that with thumb spinners uh, many times what you don't expect will work well such as taking apart a ratchet and using an anvil as a thumb spinner uh, in my experience has been uh, I use them more often than I use any commercially produced uh, thumb wheel just because you get more grip and they're more compact and because they're ratchet anvils you know that they're absolutely the strongest of anything I think these uh, wouldn't be quite as strong as an uh, actual ratchet anvil and since you're using it with a thumb then they should be virtually unlimited duty anyway I don't know I talked about all that for 10 minutes but I really appreciate everybody watching uh, please subscribe
Catus Maximus out.